Hello and welcome to my first video. Thank you for joining. You are amazing. So in this first video, what I'm going to talk about is the fact that the internet is going to be your library. So basically, you can pick up any texture from the internet and import it into your model. However, if you just pick any texture, then it might not look good in your model for some reason. So I'll be focusing on the key things that you pay attention to so that it looks good, nice and smooth in your model. Okay, so let's get right into it. This is a model of a house that I designed for a client and it's totally textureless. So we're going to the internet and start looking for nice textures to import them into the model. There are several websites where you can find very nice resources for textures. First one here is Google, basically. It's Google Images. You can find lots of things. And that's where I'm going to pick my texture. However, there are others. This first one here is textures.com. You have many, many textures in this website. And not all of them can look good inside of a, tech, uh, of a SketchUp model. However, you, I'm sure you can find uh, a lot of useful and, um, and nice textures here as well. For you to be able to download any texture from this website, they need you to register and create a login. And then you have free access to uh, a lot of things, but not everything. So that's the first website. Second website here, it's SketchUp Textures Club. And uh, same thing, you have to create an account to get access to some of their textures, but not like the whole, the big high definition textures. But uh, you can still find some pretty good quality textures without uh, the logo here. So this is really nice and uh, it's designed for SketchUp. So uh, you just have to go into textures here and you'll find lots of different categories from which you can download any type of texture. Okay. Then they have actually the same, it's the same source. They have a Facebook page actually where they post all kinds of things as well. But basically you have to sign up here also and it drives you to their website. They also have a Pinterest account where they post lots of things. But this is a very nice layout here. You can see everything uh, pretty quickly and very nicely. Okay. However, they all direct you to their website again. Then as we are in Pinterest, actually in Pinterest itself, you can search for your textures. Sometimes you have, you can um, come across very nice textures as well. So if I type like concrete texture, you'll find many nice concrete textures that you can apply inside of your model but not all of them. And I'll explain why. Okay. See, so you can even get access to like free concrete textures and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, sometimes you have to pay attention not to like steal someone's image, uh, or something like that. You, uh, want to make sure it's a free or royalty free texture. Okay. But there are so many of them. Then you have arrowway textures. This is really top quality textures with high definition files and they're really, really amazing. They're doing really an amazing job, but they create them for rendering softwares. So you'll get the image of the, um, of the texture with other files that help for the realism of the, uh, the texture with the rendering softwares. They may have like some free samples but it's uh, pretty expensive. And uh, if you're really into that, you can check it out, but you'll, you'll have some free resources as well. So um, yeah, and the next one here, I never used this one. However, they seem to have very nice textures as well. If I have very high definition textures, which is called VizPark here. So if we get into textures, you'll see that they have some very nice, apparently very nice textures, but you have to pay for them. And again, they may, they might have free samples, but in general, you have to pay for them. 